What caused the internet to turn against Hailey Bieber? Clearly being married to one of the world's most famous former teen heartthrobs comes with massive pros and cons. But in Hailey's situation, it seems like there's been a whole lot of negative. We're talking about massive amounts of online hate, saying that the internet dislikes her would be the understatement of the century. Selena Gomez fans have labeled her as manipulating fake and said that she should not be with Justin Bieber. But there's actually a lot more underlying reasons as to why fans have that image of her. So let's take a look at the top 10 biggest Hailey Bieber warning signs that we shouldn't have ignored. Number 10, rude to a restaurant hostess. Being a waitress at a fancy restaurant will sometimes give you the chance to meet celebrities when you're working. TikTok user Julia Carolan was working at a fancy restaurant in Manhattan and she documented her bad experience with Hailey Bieber. In the video, she said, this is going to be controversial, but I've met her a handful of times and each time she was not nice. I really wanted to like her, but I have to give her a 3.5 out of 10. Sorry. When the video went viral, Haley eventually saw it and quickly took to the comments section of the video and she tried to apologize for how she acted. She said, just came across this video and I'm so sorry if I've ever given you bad vibes or a bad attitude. That was never my intention. She also added that she would like to apologize to Julia in person and thanked her for calling her out. Thankfully, Haley had the grace to apologize to Julia, but it's likely that she wouldn't have even considered her behavior rude if she didn't get called out for it and the video didn't go viral. The truth is you can really make Make out someone's character just by how they treat those working in the service industry, like James Corden found out back in October. So apology or not, this kind of behavior is never okay. But it's good that more and more celebrities are being called out for it these days. Number nine, racist tweets. Just a few days after she called Twitter a breeding ground for cruelty towards each other, Hailey Bieber got slammed again by Twitter users who had discovered and shared some of the model's old Twitter and Tumblr posts as supposed evidence of her racism and bigotry. It all started when she came to Justin Bieber his defense after he revealed that he had been diagnosed with Lyme disease and some of his fans said that he wouldn't have gotten it if he had been with Selena Gomez, which is ridiculous of course, but Haley's response just caused the trolls to turn their attention on her. These fans then decided to dig up some old dirt about her and succeeded at doing so. They posted screenshots of tweets and Tumblr posts dating back years that showed examples of Haley using the n-word casually, claiming she came back from Florida a different race and using language which associated with racism against the Asian community. In a tweet from January 2012, she wrote, shut up before I smack you back to your own country. And then in November of 2013, she wrote, to those foreigners who don't celebrate Thanksgiving, so sorry your country didn't have pilgrims and Indians to start such a sick holiday. Yeah, that was pretty indefensible. Shortly after, most tweets mentioning her past were deleted, and Haley then decided to close her Twitter account altogether. Celebrities often forget that you can literally find everything on the internet these days. And Obviously, Haley's past eventually came back to haunt her. Number eight, the Nepo baby shirt. If you've been on the internet recently, you'll have noticed that the dreaded Nepo baby label is becoming just as popular as the term industry plant. But the Nepo baby label specifically refers to someone who receives privileges due to their relatives or friends being powerful. Usually it means that someone is able to get jobs because of who they know, and most of the time it's famous parents. Amidst the growing criticism surrounding the Nepo baby discourse and the fact that she refuses to acknowledge her privilege in this aspect, Haley bravely decided to wear a Nepo Baby t-shirt, which to many people made it seem like she was proud to be given countless opportunities over everyone else just because of her last name. As expected, this only turned more people against her. Louis Pisano, a writer for Harper's Bazaar, then tweeted out the photo with the caption, the Haley Bieber Nepo Baby t-shirt picture gives nothing because she gives nothing. She's not personable enough to give this staged paparazzi shot for a viral moment any personality. She doesn't act or sing. She gets gets in and out of cars in beige and black YSL and has a skincare line. That tweet went viral and the crazy thing is that a lot of people seem to agree. Singer Charlie XEX then chimed in and wrote, I respect the Nepo baby t-shirt attempt. But the key word there is obviously attempt. Number seven, cultural appropriation. Hailey Bieber faced a ton of criticism after she made a TikTok video all about brownie glazed lips, where she wears brown lip liner with a clear glossy lip gloss over the top. That was coincidentally from her own beauty brand called Road. So what is the problem with this kind of makeup and why was it making people angry? Well, Haley was called out for appropriating a makeup technique that's historically been worn by Latinas and black and brown women since the 90s. Not only that, but she tried to rename the look as brownie glazed lips. So for a lot of people, that was the last straw. Naturally, her video led to an influx of primarily white influencers recreating the look on the platform and crediting her as their inspiration. As the trend took off, it became clear that this was yet another case of a white 
white celebrity claiming to have started a beauty technique that has long been practiced by women of color. The controversy reached a boiling point when the topic began to trend on Twitter. And this is because the incident is hardly new. In fact, it's part of a larger conversation concerning cultural appropriation, specifically in beauty practices, especially when it comes to so-called trends that are popularized on platforms like TikTok and touted by influencers and celebrities. This one was a bit of a gray area considering that Hailey never specifically claimed to have invented the look. So the only real issue is that she didn't credit the origin of the makeup look. Number six, snubbing a fellow influencer. In June last year, Hailey was called out by an influencer who just happened to be a guest at her road launch party. Beauty vlogger Iris Balin attended the launch party for Hailey's skincare brand and she said that she had a terrible experience. She posted an Instagram video explaining what went down and apparently the whole atmosphere of the event was off. She said the event was beautiful, like it was literally a nightclub kind of thing, but the girl gets there with her friends Kylie Jenner, Kendall Jenner, all of her friends are there, but they have this corner that only they could be in. So basically Hailey stayed in the VIP section at her own launch party. Iris said that she wanted to take a picture with her and was excited to hear about her brand, but Hailey refused to talk to her or even come near her. The idea is that when you're in a room full of influential beauty icons and content creators, you need to get those people on board with your new product. Iris said, this girl didn't say anything and it was the most awkward thing because there were people hovering to take pictures with her, to talk to her. This is your event, show up for your event or have your rep people say something. But yeah, no, Hailey didn't say anything or want to talk about anything. Apparently it was Kylie Jenner that eventually said a few words about the skincare line, but no one heard from the founder all night. Number five, allegations of cheating. Hailey and Justin, who recently celebrated four years of marriage, got together after Justin and Selena had broken off their relationship. But some people have always wondered if that was the whole real story. Interestingly enough, while she was on the Call Her Daddy podcast, Hailey actually suggested that Selena and Justin weren't as serious as everyone thought at the time. When she reconciled with Justin in June of 2018, Hailey insisted that he and Selena were not in a relationship. She spoke about their brief reunion and claimed that by that point, it was just closure for them. She said, as a woman, I would never want to get into a relationship with someone and be engaged to them and be getting married to them and be thinking in the back of my mind, I wonder if that door was really closed. I know for a fact that the reason we were able to get back together was because it was very much completely closed. She went on to say, it was the right thing for them to close that door. It closed a chapter. I think it was the best thing that could have happened for him to move on. She said that a lot of the hate she gets comes from the perception that she stole Justin. But Haley insisted that the only people that really know the truth of the situation and what the timeline was, was actually them. To this day though, the exact timeline is still debated, considering that many fans think Selena and Justin were actually in a relationship when they got back together in 2018. But of course, only they really know the truth. Number four, tone deaf comments. A lot of the backlash against Haley came when she invited Gwyneth Paltrow on an episode of her YouTube show, Who's in My Bathroom? And the two of them discussed the label of nepotism, given that they both come from famous families. If you didn't know, Haley is linked to Stefan Baldwin, William Baldwin and Alec Baldwin. So she was born into a family of stars and it has undeniably fast tracked her success. Some have also argued that her marriage to Justin Bieber is also what catapulted her into the mega fame that she has now. This is mostly because Haley tends to fall under the category of celebrities that are famous just for being famous and is more or less considered a Hollywood socialite than anything else. When Gwyneth Paltrow appeared on the show, she spoke about being the child of famous parents and claimed that she's had to work twice as hard as someone without her connections because apparently people are always ready to pull her down and say, you are only there because of your dad or your mom. Haley, of course, agreed with her statements that she has it harder than regular people in the industry. These comments came off as extremely tone deaf and it really set the internet against her. Many fans have since called her out for essentially refusing to acknowledge how she got where she is today. Number three, ignoring Addison Rae. In May of 2021, Haley found herself in hot water when people accused her of being rude and ignoring Addison Rae, who was her guest on Haley's YouTube series, Who's in My Bathroom? The two stars made sandwiches and sundaes while talking about their lives. At one point, Haley asked Addison how she deals with privacy as a social media star, especially when it comes to her romantic relationships. But when Addison responded and started explaining that she has learned over the years how to keep her love life private, Haley seems to focus on her food more than anything else. Even though the topics were pretty dark, fans noticed that Haley would stick out her tongue while pouring sauce over ice cream and sprayed whipped cream into her mouth. Essentially, some people felt that she was rude for not paying attention to her guest on her own show. When the criticism amped up, Haley then explained that her show is meant to be lighthearted, and that was a feeling that she wanted to convey. She said, 
said, I just didn't want it to get too intense and too deep. I never want someone to come on who's in my bathroom and feel like I'm trying to pry information out of them or get them to talk about a subject that could potentially be sensitive or uncomfortable for them just for the sake of views. Which I mean is completely fine given that it's just the way that she wants to present her own show. Number two, Justin Bieber's antics. After a video of the singer yelling at Hailey went viral, fans have wanted what was said and what the real story was between the husband and wife. In July of 2021, the couple were in Las Vegas to celebrate Kendall Jenner's new tequila brand 818 Tequila. After the night, a TikTok user by the name of Yandrick23 posted a video of Justin and Hailey leaving the club with fans and bodyguards around them. In the video, you could see that they were holding hands as he yelled at her while they walked down the halls of the hotel. The clip went viral on TikTok with more than 1.2 million views and it drew concern from fans everywhere. Before it was deleted, many users took to the comments to slam Justin for how he treated Hailey. Although some fans came to his defense and said that he wasn't yelling at her out of anger but out of excitement. Then in September that same year, there was a video posted on Twitter showing Justin running away from paparazzi and fully leaving Hailey while she falls to the ground. Fans immediately took to the comments expressing their empathy for Hailey, considering that this wasn't the first time Justin just took off without her. For whatever reason, he seems to not care about the fact that he left her in an uncomfortable situation. And coming in at number one, calling out Selena fans. Back in September, Hailey made an appearance on Alex Cooper's Call Her Daddy podcast. She asked if Justin or anyone in their circle now has ever asked Selena to try and put an end to the hatred that is coming from her fans. Hailey said that she has no expectation of Selena doing that, but if that was something that she felt was necessary, then that would be amazing. She addressed the massive amounts of polling she's received from haters all these years, when they flooded her Instagram lives with nasty comments, and when they stood outside the Met Gala in 2021 to scream Selena when she and Justin walked the red carpet. Hailey recalled that moment and said, yes, I could hear everyone screaming. I think there's a certain part of you that has a numbness. It was disrespectful to me, to my relationship. It just was, period. But I think I've endured so much disrespect and I still do to this day that there's a part of me that was just like another day, another negative slave. Hailey then hopped on TikTok to issue a direct message to people that were trolling her on social media. She said, leave me alone at this point. I'm minding my business. I don't do anything. I don't say anything. Leave me alone, please. That's the only request. Leave me alone. Be miserable somewhere else, please. So clearly by that point, you could tell that she'd had enough. Well, that's everything that we have on this video. Please let me know what you think in the comments below and I'll catch you in the next one. Oh,